earthquake warning, magnitude 9 tremor could hit as the Eurasian plate shows cracking signs. This is by Sharon Martin on Express UK. Well, we just had the Peru earthquake of an 8 magnitude. Some say it was 7.9 upgraded to 8, others say it was 8.2. That was totally unexpected. We did not have foreshocks, we did not have aftershocks. That's very strange as well. And uh, that came just as the asteroid with its own super, with its own moon, came passing by us. That is, uh, uh, many people say that it didn't have enough weight. It was too far for anything to affect the Earth. But uh, to me, that was more uh, than a coincidence. Now, experts fear tectonic plates could be about to slip in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean and that could claim lives of hundreds of thousands of Europeans. It's a subduction zone area that gives very huge, massive earthquakes. Scientists believe they've identified a tectonic plate which is separating into two different layers. If the Eurasian plate slips, it could give birth to a new subduction zone. When a subduction zone is created, part of the plate is forcibly pushed under another part causing devastating earthquakes. Unfortunately, the hypothetical slipping plate is located a few hundred kilometers off the coast of Portugal, and that's where we have the Canary Islands, which are this a very seismic and very volcanic area. Scientists are concerned history is repeating itself. Experts believe that in 1755, a similar process happened in that exact location. The resulting devastation almost ruined Portugal as huge tsunamis followed causing Lisbon to crumble. It became known as the Great Lisbon Earthquake and it claimed the lives of up to 100,000 people as the waves consumed this city of Portugal. The earthquake, which is believed to have registered at magnitude 9 on the Richter scale, sent shock waves with the tremor being felt as far as north as Sweden and now there is fear it's happening again. They've uh, uh, experimented with computer simulations, and these suggest that the plate is currently going through serpentinization, which is where the rocks absorb water, which can cause the plate to crack and split into two. The geological team, led by marine geologist Joa Duarte from the University of Lisbon, and this is his map that we're looking at, right in their research paper. This seismicity is located below a seismically silent layer, interpreted as a serpentinization front, propagating down through the lithospheric upper mantle. He says, several tomographic models have consistently imaged a fast velocity anomaly extending up to the depth of 250 kilometers and it's right below this seismicity cluster. And uh, we have here the Eurasian plates uh, on the west of Iberia, which is, of course, uh, Portugal and Spain. And we have what the waves would show the uh, Strait of Gibraltar, which leads from there to the, uh, to the east into the Mediterranean Sea. And the incipient subduction zone is just off the coast of Portugal, southwest of Portugal. He says, we interpret this anomaly as a lithospheric drip caused by delamination of oceanic lithosphere. And if this is the case, it's the first time that delamination of oceanic lithosphere is identified. You see, every so often they find something new concerning geology, where there's a new type of uh, tremor, a new type of seismic wave, uh, or a new type of uh, lithospheric dips, or how the lithosphere flakes to create a new uh, subduction zone. He says, we interpret this anomaly, lithospheric drip caused by the delamination of oceanic lithosphere. If this is the case, it's the first time that delamination of oceanic lithosphere is identified. But whether it's happening is a big 
if at the moment, according to the blog post written by Mr. Duarte last year, he says, Today we know that the Southwest Iberian margin is indeed being reactivated. That's bad news, very bad news. Whether this will lead to the, he says, to the nucleation of the new subduction zone is still a matter of debate, and we will probably never know for sure. Nevertheless, he says, subduction initiation is one of the major unsolved problems in Earth sciences, and the coasts of off Lisbon might constitute a perfect natural laboratory to investigate this problem. Duarte also told National Geographic, it's a big statement. Maybe this is not the solution to all the problems, but I think we have something new here. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.